Uh, hello, everybody. I'm here with Grace. Hi, everyone. I'm Grace. I'm the TA for 40D, and I had Holly's Harry Potter course um, last fall, and I'm excited to join everyone with this course this semester. So we are talking about Havruta, which is the uh, practice that we'll be starting on Friday with our first fiction te text. So Havruta comes from, you know this Grace, but I'm telling the others that Havruta um, comes from a Talmudic study practice. And the idea is supposed to be that you don't need a teacher to tell you what a text means, that between you yourself and a peer or a group of peers and the book itself, you can find meaning um, in a text. So you, uh, when you finish reading something, whether it's a, a whole story or a chunk of chapters, you think of a question that you still have about the text, and then you also propose an answer, but an answer that doesn't entirely satisfy you because you're going to bring this to your group and talk more about it. And it's that discussion together that's going to get you further into the question and not necessarily arrive at a solution, but just really get further into it. So when you were in my class last semester, Grace, um, what made for a really good Havruta question? Um, I would say like questions that um, had like multiple answers that could be backed up with like evidence from the text and also just like questions that made you kind of like rethink your potential answer to the question after hearing other people's perspectives on it. So like, as you said, something that like doesn't have one answer, but like the answers can be backed up um, through the text and just having that like evidence there is always really great. Um, but yeah. So can you give us some examples from Harry Potter? Yeah, one example that I came up with for last semester is um, why is Quidditch the only sport offered at Hogwarts? And my answer to this question is that that I proposed last fall was that since stunning magic is considered such an important and time consuming practice that maybe the Hogwarts professors and administration thought that having one school sport would distract from students learning and since magic is like so important that they only wanted to have one sport. But again, when I brought it to my group, there was a lot of people with different perspectives and different answers. So it was, it was cool to hear other people's answers to the same question. Mm -hmm. You can go in a lot of different directions besides just yeah. like sports or something like that. Right, so um, shall we do one for the machine, the machine stops? Yeah. Yeah, I can. I'll, I'll do mine. Um, I said, what is the concept of ideas meant to represent in the machine stops? And I my proposed answer for this, again, it could be a lot of different answers. But what I was kind of thinking when reading it is that um, at like where they're at in the machine stops at, at the point that they're at with climate change and just like the, the old world is now they're living underground and stuff that basically everyone in this new society, all they can focus on is coming up with like a solution to what they're currently living in, I guess. And it's like, like kind of they're, they constantly have to only think about climate change and what they um, can do to fix that. Where like currently, like I can go about my day and live pretty normally without thinking about uh, solutions for how to, uh, help with climate change or how to get out of a current situation that I'm in um, where like their main purpose and goal is only to like think of these ideas or solutions of ways to kind of deal with what they're currently in um, versus kind of like where we're at now in society. We haven't progressed to that level where like every single person in the society has to be constantly thinking about like solutions um, for climate change constantly like even just like every thought that you have has to be centered around that. So that's kind of like one idea that I thought about, but um, I'll be interested to hear what you thought also. Yeah, that's interesting. Cause like, I always feel like sometimes um, Vashi isn't thinking about this is a problem at all. And she's like, she doesn't have any experiences cause she's like done away with like the body part of her life. And so she's like all in her head, right? And it makes me think about, you know, reading the story during COVID how many of us just like kind of stopped having a lot of our experiences and are just like bored at home and yeah they don't they don't yet I mean television hasn't really been invented yet when the author wrote this so like there's no just like binging Netflix kind of thing so it's just like each other having to provide this like stimulus because they have no they don't go anywhere they don't do anything 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. And also, too, like, it kind of just made me think about, too, like, when, like, COVID first started and also, like, during the election, like, I feel like everyone was, like, glued to the news, like, really hyper-focused on, like, this one idea, this one, like, event that was occurring, you know? Um, And I feel like that's kind of similar to uh, what I feel like is happening in uh, the machine stops where, like, every single thought that they have has to be centered around these like ideas. Um, and like, as you said, you like don't really have time for your own thoughts um, admits like during just like the world that they're living in um, and kind of like the world that we have come to live in too with COVID. I was also thinking about how like the author definitely takes shots at lots of different entities. Like I think he gets both Catholicism and Protestantism in there. Um, but he also, I feel like the 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 shots he takes at academia are kind of funny, because the idea that like we're gonna find out more about the French Revolution by getting farther and farther away, and just like that is like I feel like a lot of academic papers are just citations of citations of citations of citations, and so I I, I did think that was a bit funny that his uh, as time goes on, ideas are meant to become less related to the actual thing because they are less like nothing happens and they're not even interested in what happens; they're interested in thought, like pure thought. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. I know, I just, like, I felt like the the word idea was just continuously, like, brought up in this, um, this, like, paper, so I just, like, definitely really noticed it and was, um, like, I was like, hmm, there must be a deeper meaning to what ideas are versus, like, just, like, free thinking, you know, like, I came up with an idea versus, like, now I think that it's more, like, life or death if you don't come up with it, I, like, a ideal idea then it's going to be the end of civilization as they know it in the in the underground (laughs) and I I guess I also it makes me wonder a lot about their education system like she's um well she's a lecturer which is like it sounds like an academic post but also kind of feels like she's got a blog and all her friends have blogs and like anybody can blog and I don't know what makes her when she like uh Kuno has an idea and she's like ah it's not a very good idea and I don't know on what basis she judges that like do she's studying I mean people are talking about history and they're talking about music at this really like granular level that sounds to me like some sort of academic system but aside from the public nurseries reference we don't really get any idea of like how they're educated yeah yeah no that's definitely I I have a lot of questions like also too I feel like it was one of those kind of readings that as I read more I like began to picture the world a little bit more but I still had a really hard time just like picturing like what even like their society looked like um because like like yeah as you said too like I don't even know how they would go to school or have an education system if they're all like separated in their own like pod rooms so yeah I mean, they're clearly using Microsoft Teams like yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thing. there's like a purple tint and then the face appears like <laughs> Yeah. All right, Grace, I think we, we've talked long enough. Um, maybe people are still watching, but uh, <laughs> let's call it for now. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody's Habrutas, um in class. Me too. Yeah, I can't wait to read them.